Hello everybody, I'm John Norton, and welcome to the first video on this YouTube channel. Um, in today's video, I am going to be installing my favorite software, Norton Utilities version 3.0 for Windows. But first, let's go ahead and professionalize this computer. There we go, much better. Now, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and install. Um, <laughs> uh, one second. Well, colleagues, I seem to have found a problem. I was using the wrong thing. This is the disk I had in the computer. This is Norton Utilities from Macintosh, version 5.0. That's not going to work because this is a this is a PC, not a Mac. Yes, I know technically Macs are PCs, but we don't like to say that around here. Um. Anyways, let us insert the proper disk. All right. Let me just plug in my keyboard real quick. Apologies if it gets a bit loud. Oh, what a great intro video. Oh, look at all those pieces of wonderful software. Oh, yes. Let's install. Welcome to the Norton Utilities Setup Program. This program will install, install Norton Utilities on your computer. Let's read carefully. Notice, Symantec licenses the accompanying software to do you only upon the condition that you accept all of the terms contained in this license agreement. Please read the terms carefully before continuing installation as pressing the yes button will indicate your assent to them. Okay. And uh, yeah, you can install there. Let's do a custom install. Uh, Yes, I want the extensions. I want snapshots of my hard disk. Live update. Norton antivirus. Crash guard. Disk doctor. File compare optimization layer. Registry editor. System doctor. Utilities base files and demos. DOS applications. Integrator. Web services. Win docker. Reg registry tracker. Rescue Disk, Space Wizard, Speed Disk, and System Information, and the Unerase Wizard. Norton Protection enhances the recycle bin and does the following. Protects files not, not already protected by the recycling bin, including files deleted by applications, files deleted in a DOS window, and overwritten files. Configure Norton Protection after install. After you install, right-click on the Norton Protected Recycle Bin and select Properties. Unerase Wizard allows you to recover protected files. Double-click the Norton Protected Recycle Bin to open Unerase Wizard. Okay. Norton System Doctor continuously protects your computer by monitoring critical system resources, including memory usage, uh, the fragmentation performance data, and CPU usage. Sure. Uh, would you like to set up the trick for an update? I do not have access to the internet. Uh, let's go ahead and get this installed. Uh, that is very bright. You cannot see that. But that's basically saying it's copying files and everything. That's a lot of good stuff. So, uh, yeah, we'll just let this install, and uh, I'll be back when it is done. All right, so after restarting our computer, you can immediately see we have Norton System Doctor running, which gives us access to a bunch of Norton applications, I presume, and some system utilization information. I'll go ahead and minimize that. So let's go ahead and check this out. This is a Norton Protected Recycle Bin. Here's where we deleted files. So I presume if we go here and we 
Have the computer freeze. Um, okay. Norton System Doctor is unable to load a component it needs to update. Oh, Lord. Okay. Alright, anyways, um, let's just open up the text document. Yes. So here's our yes file, and, uh, oh, no, I accidentally deleted the yes file. And now it's going to look for files, and there is yes. We can go and recover it. And there is yes on our desktop. Now I assume if we delete it. Oh, goodness. Okay, Norton System Doctor is being funny. All right. We're just going to close some of this stuff. Um, uh, yes. All right, let's find recently deleted files. Let's go ahead and delete that for sure. What if I go back and if I finish and reopen the Norton Predictor Recycle Bin? It does not find. But, all right, let's go. The file name is yes. It is an unknown file type. And it was on C. It was on C Windows Desktop. Actually, it was probably C Windows Profiles to Norton Desktop, but it should find it. And if it doesn't, well, then that's sad, and I will probably end the video. It's looking... Oh! Oh! And there it is! Yes! I, I am going to go ahead and recover our yes files. Recover. And there it is! Alright, so that's how that works. Now let's go and open up the Norton Utilities Integrator. Let's check our system for problems with Norton Wind Doctor. Alright, go ahead and continue. Oh, I did notice it did say Windows 95. Go ahead and perform all tests. That is a lot of tests. Um, I'll probably not do all of these. And so yeah, I assume this just scans your computer for most problems. Crash guard probably protects you from crashes. Disk, doc disk doctor fixes your disk if something happens and then repairs it. Recover your erase files. We already checked that out. Norton file compare probably checks between files. Speed disk optimization wizard base wizard does stuff. System doctor rescue disk image register tracker and troubleshoot. These all. So let's just end it out by checking out what system information is because we can look at all these in different videos. Because I'm tired and my speaking stuff is starting to hurt. So we're on genuine Intel Family 6 model, 13, 14, 95 megahertz, stepping 6. Also known as a Pentium M. Math support on chip. BIOS is just a Phoenix technology BIOS from GW5. Got a PCI bus, two parallel and two serial ports. Well, it's actually more like. Not really like that at all, now that I think about it. It has one parallel port and two USB ports. Anyways, we got 768 megs of RAM. Uh, we don't have a floppy drive, which is weird. Oh, it says I have a floppy drive. I do not have a floppy drive. Fun fact. I do not know why it says that I do. The computer has frozen again. This is going great. Uh, the only th better thing that could happen is quick time crashes. Because we are recording on the most professional of software um, that I would love to show you, but I don't have the time right now to switch over to it. Would you get out of here? Alright, so yeah, we got CD ROM, sound, 1024 by 768, 32 bit color, Radeon 7500. Yeah, we got 16 by 100. 1600 by 1200 max resolution on our 7500 series. Radeon by ATI. Nice graphics card. Uh, we got internet. Or we don't have internet. Uh, we have apparently a 20 gig drive. 
which is true. This is a 20 gig partition, but this is actually, an, I believe, a 60 gig drive where I have 40 gigs allocated to Windows 2000, which you can't see because Windows 98, NTFS, yeah. And here's our RAM showing what's using how much, and that's all cool. It's showing like our two gigs a page. Don't have a printer. Oh, we've already checked that out. Input. We got our. It says I have uh, a standard 101, 102 key. Um, now, here's the thing I don't know which is which. I think this is the track point. This is the building board because I'm using a ThinkPad. Uh, this is the Apple mouse that I'm using. And this is the uh, compact keyboard that I have over there. And finally, multimedia. We do have MIDI and stuff. No joysticks in. Uh, we got sound installed. We do have MPEG decoders on like software or whatever. And that's about it. That was me showing off the basics of Norton Utilities version 3.0. Thank you all for watching. Remember, always stay protected.